This is a case example of a condyle defect of the medial femoral condyle. After visually assessing the defect, the surgeon should remove any unstable cartilage and expose the underlying bone surface. The calcified cartilage layer should be removed. This is confirmed by punctate bleeding at the defect base. The preparation is done with either rotary resection devices or with manual instruments such as curettes. Any loose or marginally attached cartilage at the periphery of the defect is also removed until a stable rim of cartilage remains. Following thorough defect preparation, which is necessary for best results, the marrow stimulation procedure is performed. During this process, multiple holes are drilled throughout the entire affected area of the chondral defect. These 1.5 millimeter diameter holes are placed approximately 3 millimeters apart and are approximately 6 millimeters deep, depending on which power pick is used. The holes are created such that cells and growth factors from the bone marrow will elute from the holes, combine, and clot to form a covering over the repair site. The clot matures and forms a new hyaline-like cartilage that fills the chondral defect. Bone and cartilage debris generated during the procedure should be removed from the joint to prevent irritation postoperatively and to ensure the free flow of marrow and blood elements from the perforations. Find out more about the products used in this video on the Arthrex website at www.arthrex.com.